Hello everyone, welcome to 12th standard. In 12th standard, we are here to discuss about a subject called accountancy. Now, it is our favorite subject, okay? We all have enjoyed this subject in 11th standard. How this subject will differ from 11th to 12th? The basics will help you a lot in this 12th standard and scoring 100% marks is really, really possible. More, uh, more and more students are achieving 100% score every year. So let's understand what we are going to see in our 12th standard accountancy. Now, the accountancy for 12th standard, which is our board class, okay? For the year 2020-21, the CBSC code for this subject is code number 055, okay? Where will we need this code? You will only need to fill this code when you are going to fill your exam form, okay? There too, your teachers, your school teachers will help you about. Now, the uh, total marks of accounts in board is 100 marks, but this 100 is divided. Okay, how it is divided, the paper, board paper will be of 3 hours, but the paper will only be of 80 marks. Okay, how much? Only 80 marks paper and you will get 3 hours for it, for this 80 marks. Rest 20 marks will be of project. Most of you must have made a project in your 11th standard. Okay, this year also a similar project you will have to make. We will discuss about it. But before that, let's concentrate on this 80 marks, what this comprises of. So 12th standard accountancy is divided into three units, part A, part B and part C. In part A, the chapters which we are going to discuss are accounting for not-for-profit organization, partnership firms and companies. Generally, uh, you'll have a book, only one book which comprises of all these three topics. Now. There will be various units, these three units. First unit will be financial statement of not-for-profit organization. Now, there will be only one chapter with this name. J uh, CBSC allots 25 periods for this and the board marking weightage is 10 marks, okay? A very simple chapter. Few of you must have done this chapter in your 11th standard, okay? Now, comes to our favorite chapter, favorite unit called accounting for partnership firm. See, the allotted lectures are 65 highest and the board weightage is also highest for this unit, 30 marks. You will see various chapters like basic concepts, admission of partner, retirement of partner, death of partner, dissolution of partnership firm. There are various chapters in this unit, okay? Very, very interesting. In fact, this becomes favorite of the students. The third is, third unit is accounting for companies. How we issue shares, debentures, we will see in this, okay? Redemption, for feature, everything we will see. Uh, and the periods allotted are 25 and the board weightage is 20 marks. Now, comes to our B part. Now, this B part is generally a second book and do remember in this B part, you will have an option in your board examination. We as teachers generally suggest students to go for this option only. Why? I'll tell you in a bit. Now, the first B part consists of financial statement analysis. It has two units, analysis of financial statements and cash flow statements. This unit, analysis of financial statements, will have various chapters in it, but cash flow statement will be just one chapter. If we see the uh, periods allotment, 30 periods for financial statement analysis and 20 periods for cash flow statement. Marks wise, financial statement analysis is of 12 marks and cash flow statement, uh, one question will come, 8 marks. Okay? Now, the other option that you will see in your board examination will be computerized accounting. See, 30 plus 20, 50. Here also 50 periods have been allotted. Marks wise, 12 plus 8, 20. Here also 20 marks, okay, questions will come. And only one unit, computerized accounting. So it's so simple, why to go for this? Because if you are at all planning to score 100%, 
then we suggest you to go for these chapters. Why? Because these are numerical based chapters. Okay? Now, scoring 100 percent in numerical questions is obviously easy than scoring in theoretical questions. But if you are a bit dicey, I will always suggest you to go for this. Okay? If your numericals are not strong, always go for this because scoring here also is easy. Now, we have discussed part A, we have also discussed part B. Let us come to our part C. See part A and part B, they consists of 60 marks plus 20 marks. So, our 80 marks theory paper of 3 hours board examination is part A and part B. The 20 marks part C is our project work. Now, what is this project work? If you all remember, most of you must have made a project file where you thought of starting up a business, you asked money from your father, you took loan from your friends, then you purchased something, you purchased some furniture, you uh, bought a shop okay, or took it on rent, then you uh, sold goods, then there were some expenses of salary and all and your teacher has asked you to write the journal entries and then make ledger accounts, then make trial balance and then make final statements, okay, trading P&L balance sheet you all were very pissed for that. But that was a practice. If at all you have done that, that was a practice for you because a similar project file you will be needing to make here. Now, the project will work will include a project file. This project work is of 20 marks and your class teacher should spend, okay, accounts teacher should spend at least 10 periods in that. Now, your project file will be of 4 marks, so much efforts for 4 marks, but still students, this is board examination, even a mark matters. Now, a similar project you will be making here, then there will be a written test. This written test will happen in your school. Okay? There will be 1 hour, it will be a 1 hour written test which will consist of 12 marks okay, in your board examination. And finally, an external examiner will come to your school and he will take, he or she will take a viva voice of you. This viva will be based on your project file, based on your 12th standard accountancy overall, okay. And this has 4 marks weighted. So, 4 plus 12 plus 4, that becomes our 20 marks. So, this is our 20 marks, 80 marks we have already discussed, 60 plus 20 and this 20. This is your entire 12th standard, 60, 20, 20, entire examination. Now, how is the paper? Okay, we will not discuss the entire paper here, but we will just discuss its format, how board generally gives. Okay, so question paper is a suggested design of question paper. Again, the code is same. Uh, class 12 for the year 2021, 80 marks theory, 20 marks project. This 80 marks will be 3 hours examination. Now, types of question, okay? Generally, what type of question comes, how much marks, and the percentage of marks out of 100, we will just discuss here. So, generally, the question will it be all numerical based question? Okay, or what is the uh, portion of theory we will be discussing? Accounts in class 12th also consists of theory. So, remembering and understanding exhibit memory of previously learned material by recalling facts, terms, basic concepts, and answers. Demonstrate un understanding of facts and ideas by organizing, comparing, translating, interpreting, giving description, and stating ideas. Now, what is this? This is your theory. Okay, but practical based theory, you will be able to answer this if you have studied it properly. If you are able to solve your practical questions, the theory will come mostly out of it. Now, next is uh, before that, it will be of 44 marks, which if we see is 55 percent of your total marks. Next is problem solving, okay? applying solve problems to new situations by acquiring, applying acquired knowledge facts, techniques and rules in different way. Uh, marks wise 19 marks, 23.75 percentage for this. And the last thing here is analyzing, evaluating and creating. Examine and break information into parts by identifying motives or causes. Make inferences and find evidence to support generalization. 
present and defend opinions by making judgments about information validity of ideas or quality of work based on set of criteria. Compile information together in different way by com com uh, combining elements in a new pattern or proposing alternative solution. This will be of 17 marks that is 21.25 percent of your 18 marks. So, generally what will happen when we will be teaching you, we will be teaching you how to go about the entire paper. There will be very simple questions in it and there will be certain typical question which you will only be able to answer if you have studied accountancy thoroughly. Okay? Thank you so much. That is it for our introduction of accountancy.